2,000 years ago, the only thing that would have been built here by the Romans was exactly 50 meters here on the right-hand side. And it was the Circus of Nero that was built by our feared and dreaded Emperor Nero. The Circus of Nero, when it was completed in the year 60 AD, would have looked like this, as most of the circuses were built here in Rome. Now, we do know that 2,000 years ago here in Rome, we had more than a dozen, more than 10 circuses here in Rome. And all the circuses had the same shape, elliptical shape, uh -huh. because that's exactly what the horses, with the chariots used to run around. Because the Romans loved the chariot races around the circuses. Now, if you imagine that the, the chariot races here in Rome were even more important, more popular than the gladiator games with the Colosseum, because the Romans loved to gamble, to bet the, on the winning horses. Yes. But all the circuses that we had here in Rome were ordinated in center with an obelisk. Now, if you look carefully around Rome today, there's a 13 original obelisk, all from ancient Egypt, that they used to belong to the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. But we, as the Roman Empire, absorbed the Egyptian Empire in 30 AD with Mark, Anthony, and Cleopatra, and we start taking the signs of power around Egypt, including the obelisk. But here in Rome, the obelisks were used to place inside the center of the circuses because that was the epicenter. That's exactly where the horses used to run around. Now, is anybody also familiar with our feared and dreaded Emperor Nero? Does everybody know this kind of, yes, yes. kind of this imaginary where you imagine like the Nero as the city of Rome was burning underneath Nero was playing his fiddle, like, like to say. <laughs> now, we like to exaggerate this. It's like some kind of like Hollywood scheme. Like, you know, they make you imagine that this happened for, for real. But we do know that as Romans, that this never historically happened. Now, Nero was a feared and dreaded emperor. He was eccentric, but as the city of Rome burned underneath uh, as he was playing his fiddle, we don't know if this is true. But we do know that Nero liked to have these crazy ideas. Now, he liked to have, like, uh, today was Blue Day. Everybody had to dress in blue. But if everybody showed up with uh, green, he had all the people executed because he didn't actually do what he wanted to do. So we know that he was a feared and dreaded uh, emperor. Just out of respect, people feared him. But as Nero's completing his circus, 50 meters here on our right-hand side, 2,000 years ago, there's also something else happening here in Rome. There's also the early Christian society led by St. Peter, the Apostle Peter. And St. Peter personally met Christ. So after the Last Supper, Christ goes to Peter, lays his hands on his shoulder and says, Peter, you're the rock of my church. You're the foundations of my church. I can only trust you with this mission. So please go take care of my flocks upon my death. But before you go... It's the microphone, huh? Yes, it's dead, is it me? It's the microphone. <laughs> my... uh, okay, wait a minute. We'll try to do something else with right you. No, no, no. Okay, I'll speak microphone. in the meantime since so it's the microphone. No, it's no problem. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's, it's kind of hard being interrupted, you know what I mean? You're, you're no, I'm so. sorry, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> it's like you are so passionate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's like stopping a movie. No, but know? we're thinking that maybe when we're going inside